Ahoy, Captains of Naval Action! In this video, we'll be going over how to create, join, and command operations. Operations are how you gain promotion points and they are designed to encourage playing as a group in naval action. Anyone can create an operation. If there are no active operations you're interested in joining, you can create an operation. Start by simply click on the button to create operation. The first step is to select the port from which the operation will take place. If the operation is not based out of our home port, you can look up the port by using search. After you have selected the port, next select the type of operation. There are a variety of types of operations and anything that involves more than one player can be an operation. Feel free to be creative. If your operation doesn't match any of the types, you can select other as the type. Next, you can enter the date and time of the operation if it is taking place within a couple of days by default, the date and time is the current date time. Note that the time is in game time or Greenwich Mean Time. At the bottom of the page, you will find a table that will help you convert GMT to your local time. Next, select the Discord voice channel you will be in for the operation. Voice communication is very important for good group operations, otherwise it is very difficult to coordinate actions during the operation. Next click on Create Operation. Now you will see your operation under Active Operations. Note that the Commander role is open and there are zero players on the roster. Even though you created the operation, you're not on the roster or in command until you join the operation. To join an operation, click on the link, then click on Join Operation. When you join an operation, you are placed on the reserve roster. It is up to the operation commander to move you from the reserve roster to the active roster. After you join an operation, you should then join the Discord voice channel and alert the commander that you have joined the operation so that you can be moved to the active roster. If the operation doesn't have a commander, you can take command simply by clicking on the Take Command button. The commander of an operation has two important tasks. First, the commander must move players from the reserve roster onto the active roster. Only players on the active roster will receive promotion points. Second, at the end of the operation, the commander must salute and close the operation. The act of saluting is what grants promotion points to the active participants in the operation. Every participant will receive one point and the commander will receive one point per participant. Now we will walk through creating and commanding an operation. First we click on create operation. Next we select the port where the operation is based. Next we select the type of operation. And we're going to go through, go with the default date and time, which is right now, and use the default Discord channel, and then click on Create Operation. Next, we are going to click on the operation we just created and take command of this operation. Next, I would go to Discord and join the Tactical One voice channel. Players Echo and Delta have joined the operation and appear on the reserve roster. Next, I'm going to move them onto the active roster, active roster by clicking on the up arrow for each of them. At the end of the operation, I click on Salute and Close, and then click on salute and the Salute and Close button. That's it. That's how you create, join, and command an operation. Everyone is encouraged to create their own operations and join other players in operations. This is how you gain promotion points and move up the ranks. It is also how you can have more fun playing naval action.